see which one you're drawn to. Well, a lot of people, I don't know, I don't feel every crystal. I don't. They all have energy. They have all vibration. But I don't always feel them. I mean, so some people are kind of shy to go, well, I'm not anything. I got nothing. You know, I'm like, what? I mean, I don't know. So we're going to talk briefly about maybe how you should choose even if you don't think you're intuitive, you should choose or could choose which crystal is best for you as opposed to just having someone tell you all the time. An example would be like Tiger's Eye. If we, when we're working on our cards um, for our new store, if we wrote everything that they're known for, it's kind of like you, you said, forget it. Well, apparently it's good for everything because the list goes on and on. And you pick up another book and it'll tell you it's good for something else, right? Have y'all ever experienced that? Okay. How many of you crystal people here? Okay, first I'll just tell you, they're pretty, and they do have, it's, they have a vibration, and we can train to that vibration. That's why they work. That's why crystal healing works, okay? Because they're steady and fixed, and they're, come on in. Their internal structure is, uh, internal uh, structure is steady and fixed. Even if you drop it, and it goes in two pieces, it still has the same, the same internal structure, okay? We don't. We have what's called entropy. I call it chaos. Okay, so when we have a crystal, we entrain to that. If it's a rose quartz, which we're going to talk about today, and some of you have it, it's the pink one. Okay, you have the pink one, that's the rose quartz. You kind of entrain to that. It will help calm you down. It will um, bring some kind of self love for you. You can put it in the water, you can put not this little one in the water because you might choke. But you put rose quartz in your water or in your bathtub, and it'll calm you and maybe bring a sense of love to you. But how do you know? If you can't feel them, and if you don't want to go up and use the pendulum for every crystal, you know, it's okay if you do that. Pendulums are great. Um, but you can really start with just color or which one you like. You know, I think that's pretty. Now, we've had some good conversations, Eric and I, Eric and I have, about um, the color. Uh, there is Erica and I have about oils. So you know essential oils, sometimes they tell you to get who's essential oil people oil people. Okay, so sometimes do you guys tell people or do you tell yourself, now have you heard, get the one that you aren't drawn to. Like if you don't like the smell that may be good for you. Have y'all heard that? You Nobody? Okay. Sometimes with essential oils, that's how it is. But um, I'm gonna write an article on this because it's really interesting. But with it seems with crystals, it's usually the one you are drawn to. We're going to experiment, maybe, with it if it's not the one you're drawn to. Um, but I'd say most of the time, if you like a crystal, um, it's, it's probably because it's something that you need to work on, or it maybe you need a little support on. Um, but you can go by the color, okay, because of the chocolates, right, the wood you give. And you can just, you know, work on that. Yeah. Colors of rainbow, blue, and chica. So you can go by that. So if it's a red crystal, it's going to be good for support. Good for things where you you know need to feel confident and grounded and supported. Um, black crystals typically have to do with grounding and protection. Uh, clear crystals, a lot of the clear ones or white ones, um, kind of purple ones, might be more about ascension, going up into your transpersonal chakras. Okay. So what I think we passed out. Got the pink. Did everybody get a crystal? I think there's a couple guys who came in maybe that didn't. Um, raise your hand if you didn't get a crystal. Everybody? Okay. So if you got everything that I passed out today, three, three. They're all quartz. So everybody, does everybody know what a quartz is? Clear quartz? Right? The white ones? They're clear. Um, every one of the crystals passed out today is a type of quartz. It's just that it has something, a different, something that's been added to it um, by Mother Earth, a different mineral, or maybe it was formed or pressurized in a certain way, we won't go on to that, that makes it have a different color. Um, I didn't have that at New Amethyst, but that would also be a quartz. But did you know Tiger's Eye is a type of quartz? Okay. And I didn't have that, that but the green, that's called green adventuring. Okay, so you've got a green one, that's green adventuring. And then, what else do we have? And then if you've got kind of the brown one that looks like glass, that's smoky quartz. Okay? 
right? So raise your hand if you have a pink one. It's not the new pink ones. Okay. Ten of the last. Okay. Um, the last ones. The red ones the last ones. Um, raise your hand if you got a brown, kind of clear, smoky look. That's how we're doing. Okay. And raise your hand if you got a green one. Okay. All right. So we're going to set The funny thing is, is that's kind of how it works because we handed it out and we're trying to hurry. But in galleries, a lot of times it goes that way. People sit together. That, like yesterday, I saw, like, the last time we had a mediumship gallery at our store. And there were paralytics there, and they were all sitting together, and they needed to know each other. They were all, right, sitting by each other. You know, and so it kind of goes that way. This was kind of planned. <laughs> Did y'all got the same crystals? So, um, quartz is a great place to start. Because quartz are all amplifying and clarifying. So if you have a question or something you can't decide, clear quartz is going to be great for that. But it's also the quartz that you have in your hand right now will also do that. All right? So if there's something like, you know, I can't decide if I want to try for another job. And do I want to retire now? No, you can you don't want to try it, retire now. You'll get me. Retire. Um, you know, what I want to do, so that, that clear quartz would be very um, helpful for that, but so would yours. But then you've got something a little extra to it. So before I go into that, just kind of telling you what you have and doing a couple of readings, I just want to tell you, just remember that as you go and you look at quartz or, um, excuse me, crystals today, look at what you like, what you're drawn to. Don't, I, would, I would even recommend you maybe not always go to the books first, okay? Just really just, and it doesn't mean you have to be, have this like, whoa, I know, I know I'm channeling that I know that this crystal is the one for me. No, you just like it. And you just think that's pretty. Come on in. Um, the green of it, the interesting thing as you get into these, when you do read about them, and you go, really? I mean, like, that's overwhelming. It says all oh, that, supposedly. I don't feel like doing a thing. The interesting thing is that a lot of them do kind of overlap because you're in the quartz family. Okay, so it's silicon dioxide, and so you're in the same family with that crystal. So you get the rose quartz, which, think about it, that's probably hard, right? I mean, it's pink these days, even though green's traditionally the color for the heart chakra. You think pink. You think love, you think calm, um, you know, maybe just bringing romance or friendship into your life, right? Um, but the green will do that too, because traditionally the green is for the heart chakra. So the green adventuring, those of you who got that, that's also a heart chakra stone and a very soothing stone. But it's also known as the gambler stone. I didn't label it that, that's what it's known as. So, you know, am I telling you to take that and go gambling and you're going to put it on the lottery and we're all going to win? No, because clearly there's a lot of crystals in the world and we all use them, but you can set intentions with them, okay? Um, so the green, who read, read your hand again? The green people. Okay. Think about it. money, prosperity, manifestation, but also heart chakra. So you don't have to really have me tell you this is the list of everything it does. And what happens a lot of times is you get this list from some of the books, and they're expensive stones. That's great if you want to collect them, but you don't have to get the most expensive stone. Rose quartz, and by the way, every crystal you guys have in this room, we sell for a dollar. Those little crystals are a dollar, okay? Because we have to go get them, we do all that. Um, but those are a dollar that you have in your hand. Um, but there's other crystals that cost a lot. So like somebody said how great Moldavite was. Have you heard of Moldavite? Okay. It is kind of high vibration. It kind of is. Cobalite, in my opinion, is even higher. And it's less expensive. And a lot of places. Because what some people do is they'll jack that price up because somebody said how great it was. Right? So if I stood up here and I told y'all that, you know, the very, very, very best crystal in the whole world is... You know, I bought it maybe, I can get it, let's say, for 30 cents. I'm just going to make something up. And I told you, the very best crystal, I'm going to write a big old article on it, and don't all believe me, and it will do all these things for you, is, I'm going to name a crystal somebody. 
a little bit, you should let go. Okay, I gotta move on to somebody else um, with that business or with some things you're doing. I think you're juggling some things that could that are kind of a waste of your time. Yeah. Okay, um, let's come over here. Raise your hand if you want a read. Okay, all right. And I can't read this far. Um, what's your first name? Lorraine. Lorraine. And what color did you get? Are y'all rose quartz people back there or smoky quartz people? Y'all are all smoky quartz people. All right. Lorraine, you're pretty grounded. Um, what I get is some people, now I don't want to be like, oh, they're energy vampires and they're trying. We're, I've talked about somebody about this earlier. I won't sing, sing on you about it. Um, I'm not crazy about that term. But people, I mean, if y'all have heard of energy vampires, it sounds like people are doing that intentionally. Maybe they are sometimes. But most of the time, people just kind of psychically vomit all over us. They'll call us and they'll try, try to tell us about, this is what's going on in my life, Sarah. Sarah, I need to tell you this. And I just vomit all my problems to Sarah without warning her. Now I'm kind of warning my friends. You know, I'll kind of go, I'm calling you and I'm about to throw up all over you with all my problems. Okay, I'm going to psychically vomit on you. You're somebody who people do that to, okay? Am I right? Yep. But psychically, you know. So it's because you are grounded and you are sitting with people who, for the most part back there, are pretty grounded. That does not mean when you're grounded that you're not also really, you know, in tune spiritually or psychic, whatever you want to call it. Everybody thinks psychic is a dirty word. Look it up. It's very similar to faith. It's not a dirty word, okay? Seriously, when I coach people, I have them look up the word psychic and compare it to the word faith. And you will be shocked at how similar those two words are. Psychic is not a bad word. Um, we just have all, that's the connotation we've given to it. So, the reason you got study sports is to start checking your energy. And I think for you, it's not as grounding in, as it is protected. It kind of will kind of ward off and not let you absorb all those energies of other people. Black tourmaline does that. It's called shawl. It's black. Um, a lot of the black crystals will do that. Shungite, which is a carbon, will do that. But smoky quartz is known for it too. Um, that, a really interesting thing about your smoky quartz is y'all are all going to look different. That's because a lot of times they do heat treat those. That's not a dirty word either. If you buy citrine, more than likely it's been heat treated. It's another quartz. And sometimes it's even animals. Okay. Most stores, if they know, they'll tell you. We'll tell you if something's been heat treated. Uh, but you know the earth heat treats heat treats stuff too, right? Okay. Man, it's so bad. You <laughs> know, we do so many horrible things. It's not so horrible that we heat treat things. Um, so much quartz, sometimes it's pretty available, so they don't always heat treat it, but it's really dark sometimes. Um, which kind of it's kind of with you. You're pretty genuine. <clears throat> you know, don't need a lot of additional things to be added to you. And people trust you. But you just don't need to absorb that stuff. I know we say that a lot and that seems repetitive, but it's just true. I mean, I read all the time. I do. I work at the store. We're there all the time. And believe me, I forget to kind of just say, this is my energy. This is your energy. Right? You go in there. There's a lot of high vibe stuff in there. Maybe stuff you don't resonate with. You're not. Only, I don't call it resonate. I call it like you're not in the same radio channel. Okay, they're on this frequency. You're on this one. Doesn't make them bad. Doesn't make you better. Just means you're on different ones. You're not aligned. People align with you. Okay. I think probably I could do one more quick one. All right. So you first. Okay. So y'all, what do you have? Rose, Rose quartz. We did one of each. What's your first name? Sunshine Mandalorian. Come again. Sunshine Mandalorian. I love that. So it's not sunshine, it's sunshine Mandalorian. Okay. You know, you exude peace. I'm going to call you out there a little bit. But sometimes you're not so peaceful with yourself. Okay? Um, don't be mad. Um, you're here a lot. And you're not so, I'm not going to say you are at war with yourself because you're the sunshine 
is that you battle with yourself a little bit. Um, of knowing, right, it's more than accepting. It's like, you're so, you're like exuding calm to everyone, but up here, is, 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 am I right? Not everybody is that way. A lot of people are just totally calm up there. My husband's pretty chill. <laughs> okay, he talks about racing in mind about everything. You do. You have a lot of ideas, a lot of visions, and make really visions. Um, prophetic things to impart to others. Uh, it's okay that you're not always totally, don't get mad at me if you see it. Okay? It's okay. Um, being up here, that's okay every now and then. Uh, but I want you to do something to, to not always just hold it up here. And I'm not getting so much of that from you. I'm not trying to pick on you. Maybe, you know, I, you know, a lot of times we give messages and just watch that. It's true. Um, but you do, so the growth course for you is to, for you to be more gentle on yourself and to go easier on yourself in your life. Um, if you don't, and this isn't just for you, but if you don't meditate the way somebody thinks you should meditate, or you don't, something, you know, there's a lot of, I don't think we should have a lot of shoulds, but in sometimes in meditation and things like that, there's a lot of, maybe this is how you should do it. I don't know about you guys to let that go a little bit. Um, it's how you can learn and then you take what's on your radio channel. You got a lot on your radio channel, okay? It's not bad. There's a lot of ideas. You got some good ones, but I'd like you to start kind of putting down on paper and stuff like that. Does that make sense? So self-love. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I better stop for the next speaker. I really appreciate y'all. I hope this helped. I actually changed gears um, because I was going to give you a handout that told you what all the Christmas did, and guess what? There's a million of those. You can Google it. I mean, you know, Google it. Um, but really, what does it do for you? And I promise, I'm going to tell you this. They will do something for you. Um, I'm a pretty big skeptic about a lot of things. I'm a thinker. And there's days when I go, really? I mean, that's your, your life now is talking about crystals and selling crystals. This is your life. And that, heck yeah, it is. Because these are beautiful things that our earth has given us. And by the way, one more thing, just to close. When everybody asks me about crystal chaos, y'all heard of that? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's lots of books on it, and grids even, okay? I do teach classes on that, but you have the old book on grids. The earth is a grid, okay? Now, Mother Earth has every crystal in it, and I'm like, yeah, they're from all over the world. Think about it, they're right there. So, you know, oh, can you have that many crystals? Are they gonna confuse each other, blah, 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 blah. Just stop with that. Just let it go. And just be like, do you like it? You don't have to figure all that out. And I am a study. I was a lawyer by 24. I love to study, so I'm not knocking the books. I love to research. But really, you have so much power within yourself to decide what you want. I love to do that. <laughs> um, okay. So take it back. Yes, quick question. I have a good question about black and Yeah. Because some people, like you were, who was grounding, and then some psychics have told me, oh, you shouldn't mess with the black skills because they can do weird things, you know. I don't believe they do weird things. I'll tell you, I'll answer quickly, and I'll be done. Um, you open that door when you want me out. Um, <laughs> black obsidian, it is technically amorphous in the internal structure. That means it's not fixed, it's a glass. It's not really a crystal, okay? It's volcanic glass. And I do believe it's a little strong, okay? But I don't think it'll do bad things to you, okay? I don't believe that. Now, I'm not saying somebody else is wrong. I'm saying that's not my truth. Um, so I think it's great, and it is grounding. It is extremely protective, but another thing it will do is it will bring up issues, like past life, or past even this like trauma sometimes. And so in that way, I might say go a little easy on it. But it's not evil. It doesn't carry evil or bad things with it. I don't believe that. I believe that's fear. And I don't preach fear. 